Hello, people. We're trying something new. Yeah, fam. Um... Got Brendan's cream pot propping up the camera so we can do a combined video. <laughs> I just and it realized. feels really weird. What? You said Brendan's cream pot. <laughs> like, everybody's going to know what that is. Yeah. No one. Who's going to know what that is? Okay, well, Brendan has eczema. Yeah, I have eczema, so it's a, it's yeah. a tub for my cream. But. I mean, yeah, this, that was really important. Sorry. It's okay. Now that you know it's not just that I keep cream. <laughs> Creams from around the world. Used to. So, the last video we made... So, the, okay, there's a discrepancy. So, the last video we made was on top of the JR Tower in Sapporo. Mm. The last video we uploaded was us talking about how awesome it is to wash your butt with a toilet in Japan. <laughs> yeah. As so as to as to date these videos. Mm, yeah, this is our well tonight will be our fourth night in Kyoto. Yeah. But we haven't done much experiencing of Kyoto so far. No, we've so. successfully we we went to Nara, which is not Kyoto but it's near Kyoto so I'm counting it. Um we went to the we went to a castle. Hmm. And that's oh, it. Oh, the manga museum. Oh, and the manga museum. That was before the castle. Yeah. We recorded our video on top of the tower, in the JR Tower, and we mentioned uh, the kids, the, well, we mentioned the park, the park that has two fountains and some greenery. Oh, yeah. And I want to go back to that park because... It was a mistake to go back to that park. We made some questionable decisions. Basically, there's this, like, really cool slide that they have for kids. They've, like, built up this, like, massive white... It's, it's almost looks, looks like a wave, almost. Mm. Um, and then it's on top of, like... So there's a sand pit, like, in front of it. So it's really quite rough along the edges. And then when it's quite steep, it's very smooth. So the idea is you walk up the side and then slide down. So we were sliding down... And then we like slid down our front and our side and backwards. It was very fun. It was really good. It was excellent. Uh, I damaged my phone screen. Megan tore her trousers, uh, as we can as we can show. Um, I think I also I didn't really tear them, but I've weakened various areas of my trousers. All in all, a terrible idea. Worth it. So I just wanted to put it out there that. We went back to the park, and the park is fun in that one area, but don't have any valuables in your pockets no. when you slide down. Wear durable clothing. <laughs> Wear durable clothing. Or just slide on your butt. Yeah, like a normal person. Like a normal person, or they're going down it, because it's quite steep. Yeah, so we were watching down all it. the kids today and going, ah, oh, they're not doing it properly. They're just yeah. going on their butts, being sensible. And we were like, no, none of that. Yeah. <laughs> just like, throw ourselves down it. <laughs> And we learnt from our mistakes. Yeah, we were not very respectable when we were doing these things. No. So then, that was the, I think, was that, uh, that was either the last day or the second to last day. Second to last day in Sapporo. Yeah. The, the day after that, we, um, we had a whole day where we didn't have to change hostel, which was, like, amazing. So we went on a day trip. Yeah, and we intended to go to this place that sounded really cool. It had hot springs, so it was, like, a public bath place. And then there was also this place called Hell Valley, which was where, like, the rocks were all red and there was steam coming out from everywhere. Um, and Pretty it sounded cool. like a cool place to go, but there weren't many trains to there and we missed, like, the last reasonable time to yeah. go. So instead we went to Otteru. Otteru, which is recommended to go to by, yeah. like, the tourist information guides and stuff in Sapporo. Mm. And I think in the guidebook, but not by me and Megan. So that's the start of Otteru. It's nice and close, so it's convenient. Mm. But there's basically <laughs> a <it>. harbour <laughs> which you don't go to and a canal which you pass and can walk through in about 10 minutes. Once you've done that, that's about it, mm. really. There's some food. It's well known for food. There's a Museum of Finance. Museum of Finance. 
Good last day in Sapporo. So that was our last day in Sapporo. The day after that, we basically set off. First train was at 39 minutes past eight, and we didn't get into Kyoto until something. Like 10 past eight. 10 past in eight. In the evening. It's a long day on trains. Yeah, and we didn't even have a seat for the whole time. Like, there, we got three trains. The first and the last train we got seats for, but the big one to Tokyo. Like the bullet trains, which we're always like really excited about, mm. and we didn't have a seat, so for a large. But well, we didn't have reserved that, seats. No, we didn't have reserved ones, so we were able to stand in the cabin, mm. and we could sit in seats if there was nobody there, but it was basically like there were other people that also didn't have mm. reserved seats, so <laughs> you kind of like would sit in a seat and be like, "Are we the lucky ones?" <laughs> Are we the lucky ones Will now? we get chucked out of our <laughs> <Yeah>. seat? <laughs> and if, after about halfway, for the for the, basically the last hour and a half, we were pretty much on the floor. Yeah. And that was it. Then we obviously ended up here in Kyoto. Mm. In our wonderful hostel. Yeah. In guest hostel trip sound. Like normally hostel kitchens are actually quite nice. This hostel mm. kitchen has a really big two really big machines in it. One is this kind of weird photo booth thing, which is a thing which is kind of popular for girls in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like really weird. Like the first time we encountered this was in an arcade. There was an entire floor where men couldn't go. Single men couldn't Single, go. Yeah, they they couldn't go unless they were with a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like groups of girls and everything was pink and we were like, what the hell is that? Yeah. And what, what it is, is there are these machines where you go and I don't know if they actually give you a makeover. I think it's just digital. Yeah, digital makeover. And they like make your eyes go really big and like give you digital makeup. Mm. And then they tell you to do like different poses. Like... <laughs> <laughs> And it, it's all very strange. And then it prints out like a sticker book at the end. Yeah. So, and these machines are huge. Like, if you think of like a photo booth machine in England, it's just this small little casket with a curtain in the side mm. that you go into and you sit down on a little stool which you can turn. But no, this is like really big area so you can have like group photos of people inside with about like six of these like soft white cube lights around to give it like soft all-round lighting so it's not like harsh so it like looks all professional mm. green screen and this is in the kitchen <laughs> right next to the stamp machine yeah convert your name into a japanese name stamp yeah i don't know i, I was going to talk about the kimono renting that you can do here you can rent a kimono for a day and I <laughs> Should we take the people on a journey to see the poster? Okay. So we're here, Megan. Do you want to talk about it? Okay. Yeah, here is the poster for the kimono, kimono rental. And, and it here has... are the people <laughs> we used to advertise such kimono rental. And I don't know about you, but it makes me really want to rent a kimono. <laughs> you just looked really into it. I don't know. It's like... His kind of slight hunch and his arm not knowing what it's doing. <laughs> it just makes me want to rent a kimono. <laughs> and and then... Yeah, I, they're also featured in the other posters around, such as the Japanese name stamp. There you go. There they are again. And there they are again. Now this is actually one end of the booth where you edit your pictures and stuff. So they're like, you can see they're holding little pens. And there's like a touch screen thing and you can like edit your pictures to make things such as these. Oh, you can see here oh. uh, like where the eyes have been made really big and it's like really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> 